what we're doing is Julian wanted to have the effect basically like their hair was dipped in paint, literally. So we've had to source several different things so it doesn't stay in their own hair, obviously. And basically, it's a quite a masculine look. He wanted everyone to look like they've got short haircuts because he, one of the fitting models came in with a short crop bob and he just thought it looked amazing. A lot of the time, if you put hair up, it tends to look a little bit ladylike and a bit beautiful and glamorous where he wanted it strong and structured and graphic. We're doing various colours sort of to tie with the outfit, so, you know, in relationship to each outfit. So there's certain ones are going to be red, certain are going to be black, some are going to be white, and we're still debating whether we're going to do blue or not. We started off this morning by bleaching all the girls' eyebrows, so we have a very blank sort of look. It's an amazing device for a makeup artist because you've taken something away by, by taking that, that graphic away. It gives the girls a very interesting and extraordinary look as well. It's quite graphic, the collection, quite linear, and there was a Chinese feel to it, so the red was almost like a red lacquer. There are tiny touches of red in the collection that we've matched up with the lips. They wanted a certain androgyny to it, but I wanted to bring some glamour and some beauty, and I think the red glossy lips just adds a certain sort of um, gorgeousness to the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the thing about Julian, that you get such a great variety in one show, in one um, collection, so yeah, there's always something I like in every single one, but there were there's lots I liked in that one. Definitely, you know, Julian McDonald this season went to China and Japan. We started off the collection very modern. I was inspired by the super yachts you see in the ocean. And then the yachts sail across the ocean, across the world, to a faraway Asian sky. So it was China, Japanese. I thought it's beautiful and sexy and you know, I'd love to see it. I wish I was again 20 and that I could wear all his clothes, but I wear some of them and it's great to see him being successful and doing such a great clothes. And I love those little caps and I, and I love, you know, some of the shoes and some of those great things. Bianca is a huge fan of mine, a living icon, an inspiration for me, dressed in Julian McDonald, and I think Bianca is somebody that I love and a living inspiration to a lot of designers. Very traditional Japanese prints of the sea, blue and white graphic prints inspired by dragons and fish jumping from the sky. Very modern, very new. Gosh, it was amazing. The sheer dresses with all the detail and jewels and there was an eagle on the back of one. It was, I, I've never seen anything like it. It's amazing.
very luxurious couture embroidery inspired by a tattooed man. Tattoos that wrap around Japanese bodies. I've taken the embroidery from a man and wrapped it around a beautiful woman of luxury couture and glamour. The embroidery is the labour of love, you know, stack sequins, metal sequins, cut leather, luxury beyond imagination. Yeah.